hey beautiful you're welcome to my channel again my name is chisom so on today's video we are going to be drafting a basic trouser pattern the front and the back is going to be on the same pattern so for the purpose of this illustration these are the patterns patterns i'll be using i'm going to be using this cuff for any cuff part in this pattern this is um, a ruler and i have a longer ruler here then my tape rule so i'll be using two different colors of markers for this i'll be using the green for the front and the blue for the back because the front and back are going to be on the same pattern so that's why i'll be using two different markers so that nobody will be confused so without further ado let's get right into the tutorial and while we are at it please if you've not subscribed to this channel can you keep click on the subscribe button don't forget to share like and comment on the video so to begin i'm going to first of all draw come from the top of the paper here i'll come down by three inches then um from this line here this is supposed to be my center line but i'll come in by three inches so i'll go ahead and mark the lines i'll come down by three inches come in by three inches and then i'll show you what i mean so i'm done marking the lines and i also marked the full length of my trouser pattern so next thing i'm going to do is to measure my hips divide by four i'll use it to make a block i'll mark it on the waistline i'll mark it on the side i'll use it to make a block that is what i am doing right now so i'm marking 11 inches all around the pattern and i will draw a square so from the top of the paper from my starting line to the line i'm drawing right now is going to be my crotch line so my crotch line is my hips measurements divided by four that is my crotch line so the line is extended at the crotch line because we are going to be having crotch extension line okay so now that is my crotch line i just pointed out right now from the top of the paper i'll come down by my hip line which is nine inches so i am marking nine inches which will serve as my hip line we can all see from this pattern that the hip line is higher than the crotch line if you're going to be marking out your cross line please measure your hips divided by four so i'll go ahead and mark out my knee line from my starting point that is from the waistline i came down by my knee line measurement okay so go ahead and mark out your own knee line from your waist to your knee that is the inches i am marking out right now okay so now i have my waistline my hip line my cross line knee line and the full trouser length right now so the next thing to do is to measure my waist divide by four plus that allowance okay so from the center of my line that is the center front line i'll measure my waist divide by four plus that intake allowance that is my waist divide by four 7.5 plus one inch for that that is 8.5 then i'll connect it to the hip line from the top to the hip line okay just like you see me doing right now so when i mark the line i'll extend the side up a bit by 0 0.5 inches because the side of the trouser is going to be raised by 0 0.5 inch okay so i'm measuring to be sure that i have 0 0.5 inch raise right there then at the center front i'll come down by one inch this is for the front pattern please then i'll connect that one i'll connect that one inch slope 
i have at the center front so the 0 0.5 inch i had uh, i have at the side just as i am doing right now okay just with a smooth curve not too curvy please you can see the parts you can also use your free hand for this okay so i'm going to impute my dart so impute the front that the trouser that i will divide what i have on the waist by two and i will come down by five inches which is going to be my dart leg okay then i'll draw a straight line just as i am doing right now and then i will take half inch on both sides of the dart leg at the waistline i'll go in by half inch on the both side of the dart leg and i'll connect it to the dart apex which is where the dart stops just as i have done right now so after that we are going to do our front extension our front extension for the front is going to be your hips divided by 20 this is the standard way of extending the front the front of your trouser okay then at the hip line here i just marked out 0 0.25 and i am going to use a curve to make sure is aligning on the points i have made on the crotch and on the hip line and i will connect just as i am doing right now please place this carefully it's not hard if it's if you're finding it difficult to place the curve which i hope you don't you can use your free hand for this but this is very easy just go ahead and connect it just as you have seen me do it on this pattern right now then the next thing i'm going to do is to measure what i have on the crotch line okay on that from that cross extension to the side of my pattern i measure what i have and i am going to flip my tape into half that is i'm going to divide what i have on that crotch line into two and i will fold it and place it on my knee line that is what i have on the crotch line i will place half of it on the knee line just as i am pointing out right now and i'll also take it to the hem line and i will draw a straight line with my straight ruler this line is to get a balance at the lower side at the downside of your trouser this line is going to be a guide to get a balance at the lower side of your trouser and this line is what is called the crease line or the green line so i'm going to label the crease line don't mind how this thing is showing please it's because of the way my camera was placed but what i wrote here is crease line so now i am going to measure half of my knee measurements on both sides of this crease line i am imputing 4.5 inches on both sides of the crease line which is 9 inches and i'll also put the same thing on the bottom part of my pattern that is the trouser hem line then i'll connect this line these lines with a straight ruler from the bottom to the knee is what i am connecting with a straight ruler right now this is going to give a very balanced effect on the lower part of your trouser you can see how straight this is if you're going to make your straight pants this is exactly how you're going to be drafting it okay so from the knee right now i'll connect it to the crotch line with a straight ruler this is for the side of the trouser i am connecting from the knee line to the crotch line with a straight ruler just as i am doing now watch carefully listen to what i am saying so that you don't get confused then when i make my mark i'll go ahead and blend up any sharp points i find on this pattern because in pattern drafting you are allowed to blend up any sharp edges that you don't like how it is sitting on your pattern so i am using my curve right now to blend up all the sharp points i am seeing so that it will be smooth you can also do this when you're cutting out your pattern but now i am using my curve for this 
then for the front side i am going to use the curve to connect it from the knee to the crotch line okay just use the side of your curve the back of your curve and connect like i am doing right now it should not be too curvy it should not be too straight okay just watch closely and you will see where i am using to make this mark then i still went ahead to blend up the sharp edge i am seeing right there and now our front pattern is ready this is what the front pattern looks like let's get right into the back pattern so for the back i am going to be using this blue marker just as i said earlier we are going to get the center back of our pattern okay so to get the center back at the crotch line we come in at the center by one inch then at the top uh, that's at the waistline we come in by two inches okay so what i said is at the crotch line from the center front line at the crotch line coming by one inch or 0 0.75 inches okay then at the top of the pattern which is your waistline you come in from the center by two inches then you connect the line with a straight ruler when connecting the line let it come out you can see i intentionally brought out the line to be higher than the um, normal waistline this is because the center back waist is going to have a base of about 1.5 inches to 2 inches depending on the size okay then from other waistline at the center back waistline i will come up by 1.5 inches this is because the center back is longer than the center front in order to accommodate your butt. So I'm going to measure my waist divide by 4 plus that allowance. My waist divide by 4 plus that allowance is what I'll place from the center back line to the side. And at the side, I came up by 0 0.5 inch, just like I did at the side of the front. And I'll connect the points together. So the line I have right now from the center back to the side is my waist divided by 4 plus that intake allowance. That is what I have right there. So next, we are going to remeasure our hip line just because our, our center back has shifted from the original line on the center front so from that new center back i will measure my hip line my hip divide by four plus one inch for ease this one inch is optional but for for you to be able to bend down while you're putting on your trouser you need to add extra one inch to the measurement of your hip line on the back this is for only the back side so on that hip line i'll connect it to the waistline just as i am doing right now with a straight ruler okay so i measure i remeasured my hip line and i added extra one inch for this back pattern only then i connected from that hip line to the waistline now from here to here to here that's my center back, my waistline, my back waistline, and the side of my hip line for the back. Then next, we are going to be extending our crotch extension for the back pattern. For the back crotch extension, you use your hips divided by 10, okay? So my hips divided by 10 is what I'll place from the center back crotch line, and I will extend it okay then i will use a curve to place in a way that it will touch that extension i have on the crotch line and touch the hip line just as i am doing right now this is going to be a little bit tricky but gently place your curve in a way that it will sit perfectly you can also use your free hand for this you can see how i am blending it up right now so this blue line i marked is my back crotch extension and i went ahead to blend it for you to be able to see it properly so 
that is my back cross extension blended into the center back line okay so the next thing um we are going to do is to add extra 0 0.5 inch on the knee line on the both side of the knee line just as i am adding now i am adding extra 0 0.5 inch on the knee line and i'll also add the same on the hem line this is because we all know that the back the back trouser pattern is usually larger than the front trouser pattern so for this down part the knee line and the hem line i added 0 0.5 inch on both sides so i am going to connect the points with a straight ruler just like we did for the front pattern so now i am connecting the lines the points i made that is 0 0.5 you can see the lines right now they are 0 0.5 extra on the knee and on the hem line and i connect with a straight ruler this straight ruler is because the down part of this trouser is going to be straight you can see i have connected this then i'll still go ahead and use my straight ruler to connect from the knee line straight up to the hip line just as i am doing right now now this is going to come out awkwardly but at the end of the day you're permitted to blend any sharp points that you don't like how it's sitting so i'll go ahead right now and use my curve and blend this hip line to sit just the way i want it just as i am doing right now if you make your own mark and there's and there's no pointy edge you can leave it but if there are sharp edges like the one you're seeing right now please go ahead and blend it up smoothing it so that your pattern will not have issue when you're cutting it out on your fabric so i'll still go ahead and touch up the lines to smoothing the way i would love it to be okay i also went ahead to blend the knee so it will appear nicely then i'll use the curve the curve parts just like i did at the front pattern to connect from the knee to the crotch to the back crotch extension line so this is it i am doing it right now and then you can see how ready this pattern is looking our trouser pattern is almost ready guys you can see the back line so the blue lines indicate that it is the back pattern okay so next we are going to impute our darts just like we did at the front we are going to divide the waistline into two and mark the midpoint which is going to be uh where our darts will be then i will extend this line the dart leg for the back is going to be about 6.5 or 7 inches so i use 6.5 in this pattern i'll make a straight line then after that i'll connect i'll measure half inch on both sides of the waist and connect it to the dart apex just like i am doing right now this is a very simple thing to do we all know how to impute our that so now this is our trouser pattern with this trouser pattern you'll be able to make any kind of trouser variation once you're able to get this correctly there is no variation of trouser that you will not be able to do guys so to separate the back from the front what you do is to get another paper another pattern you place it under this pattern 
you go ahead and place it properly get a pattern that will be enough for the length of your trouser you can join patterns because that is what i did then you use your tracing wheel and trace the pattern for the back please when you're drafting make sure you use a different color of pen or pencil or whatever you're using so that you'll be able to identify the back easily okay this is all there is to this illustration thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video bye